Hello and welcome to my 12th video of my Name for Beginners tutorial series, Procedures. So far in this series we have used plenty of procedures in a variety of forms. Now we will be making our own. Here is the simplest procedure you can make in NIM. Every procedure structure in NIM starts with the keyword PROC, followed by the name of the procedure, and in this parenthesis we give it arguments. This one doesn't have any. And then here we give it a data type it will return, if any. If it would return a type, we would give it a score sign and a data type, for example, integer. Now, since this procedure doesn't return anything, it just executes some code, this is unnecessary. All we have to give it is its name, followed by parentheses. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Empty, no argument procedures require parentheses. Now let's run this. Okay, it gives hello, which is its code echo hello. Whenever we're making procedures, you should always put procedures above the code that you would be calling it from. So if we put procedure, this procedure below its call, like so, this wouldn't work, can't work. Okay, let's make a new procedure and give it an argument. Rock hello to. Here we will give it an argument. Let's name that argument as name of type string. And then we return no type. And let's echo the name argument. Now, now let's call this hello to and give it a string of, let's say, John. And run this. John. Okay, let's make another procedure that will take two arguments and return the result of addition of those arguments. So let's call it sum and number one, comma, number two. This way we can uh, name two arguments, variables, and give them both the same type, uh, integer. And here we will return integer because we need to return the result. Now let's type result num1 plus num2. The reason this result variable doesn't use a var keyword is because result is a special variable created for every procedure in them. Now let's call this procedure echo because we have to use this argument otherwise it's going to error. Let, let me show you that. Sum uh, 1 and 5 and now it gives us an error because integer has to be discarded, which means that you have to use this return. So echo sum one five. Now let's run this. And here we go, six. You can also use a return keyword instead of the result variable to return the value of this procedure by typing return keyword and the value, which will be num1 plus num2 and comment this. This will also work this in the same way. Here we go, six. You can give a procedure any number of return statements and only one will happen. But that is only possible when using conditional statements. You cannot use multiple return statements in a procedure without nesting them. Let me demonstrate. If I type here another return statement, return 10, the Visual Studio code is gonna tell us it's unreachable because this one will return and this one won't be accessible anymore. So you cannot do this. What you can do is use a conditional statement like if, um, for example, number one is larger than one, then return five, and then if number two is equal to 10, return 10 and any of these can happen now let's test this let's change the first argument to 2 which will return 5 because number 1 is larger than 1 so 5 now if you were to change this one from 5 to 10 so if number 2 is equal to 10 it should return 10 but that won't happen because this if statement is before this one so let's run this now, it is five. Now, if we were to put this one above this one, the first one, now let's run this. 
it will be 10. You can also name the arguments when calling a procedure, like this. So the arguments are num1, num2, so type num1, assign 2, and num2, assign 10. Now let's run this, and it works. If you try to modify the argument received in a procedure, that will result in an error. You cannot do that. You can by using the var keyword before the arguments type. Let me demonstrate. If we change num1 to say 10, this won't work. You can't do that. Cannot be assigned to. But you can do this by giving var here, but this still won't work because you need to use an actual variable here. You need to pass a variable. So variable a, for example, is 10. Now we pass a and we pass a here. So this now works and it gives us 10. Now let's make another variable for the second argument. Variable b is 20. Pass it to the procedure. Now, since number two is 20, which is not 10, well, it will not return 10. Then it will go to the second conditional statement. And then since number one is larger than one, since it's 10, it will return five. Let's run this. And here it is, five. What if you wanted to sum any number of arguments in a procedure? Just like how echo procedure takes any number of arguments and displays them. This is done by using the var args keyword, short for variable arguments, which will create a temporary array of type specified in square brackets. Similarly, how we declare arrays outside of a procedure, except we omit the size like it was a sequence. Now let me show you how this is done. I'm making a procedure that will take var args of type integer and return the sum addition of those numbers. Okay, let's make a new procedure. Let's call it multi sum, since we'll be summing multiple numbers addition. Let's give the argument name numbers var args of type integer, then we will be returning type integer, then we need a for loop to loop through all of these numbers. This is basically an array. So for n as in numbers, in numbers, result, we will be adding, since result starts at a default zero, nothing, we'll be adding those numbers. So n, now let's call it multi sum, give it arguments, one, two, three, four, which would be 10. Now we need to use these since it's discarded otherwise. So echo and it's 10. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. If you had any problems with any part of the video, let me know in the comment section. The code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun.